From the Target 12 investigators, a split between attorneys representing Providence retirees who did not get their pension checks. Two of them allege a lien that stopped last week's payment is illegal. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau tells us what he's learned in a story you saw first on WDPRI.com. Some retirees tell Target 12 they did receive their regular checks today, eight days late. Now there are questions raised about why the payments were delayed. The legal timeline stretches back about eight years when Providence's depleted pension fund was described as a fiscal hurricane. I thought we were maybe a category three hurricane. This is a category five. Nearly 70 police officers and firefighters would later opt out of a settlement aimed at calming the storm. And while their lawsuit was dismissed by Judge Sarah Taft Carter in 2017, the Supreme Court ruled in June of this year that 38 of the plaintiffs were eligible for cost of living adjustments and back pay. The bump in pay was expected to kick in with the September 30th check that never arrived. Now, plaintiff's attorneys Lauren Jones and Thomas Dickinson have filed this motion to strike the lien for attorney's fees blamed for stalling the payments. The motion states the purported lien filed by plaintiff's attorneys Thomas McAndrew and Kevin Bowen is illegal and void based on a state law that protects pension funds from creditors. According to the motion, McAndrew and Bowen offered to remove their lien for any retiree who would pay them the sum of $17,000, $12,000 for anyone who did not have pension back pay coming to them. No comment from the attorneys involved in the case. A hearing before Judge Taft Carter is scheduled for early November. Retirees tell us they did not receive the back pay in their latest checks. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, 12 News.